today is May 8th, 2014, and my dreadlocks are officially one year old. Uh, it's very exciting to reach this one year uh, milestone, and I just want to share it in a video. Um, I just finished making this for my new friend Ren in Australia, and I am promptly making one for myself because I absolutely love it. It's actually a cowl, so you wear it, you know, around your neck. But as I was taking it off, Holy cow, right? It's the perfect ear warmer, hair cover. Oh, I, I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna send this one to my friend in Australia and I'm gonna make one for myself. Um, you know, I was looking in the mirror this morning at my hair and I was thinking back to when I first started my dreads and I was like, oh, they're gonna be so mature a year old and they're gonna look just you know, I had this picture in my head of what one-year-old dreadlocks would look like. It's totally different than what my hair looks like, but I love my hair. And I haven't always been able to say that, honestly. So I'm very happy with the dread journey that I've had. And I'm just going to take you on a tour of my hair. Um, this is how I wear it a lot, just in a ponytail with something on top of my head to keep me warm. Um, but it's finally, you know, we might get some warm weather and my hair might be out more. I don't know. We'll see. But there you have it. One-year-old dreadlocks. Uh, they're totally wild and crazy and all sorts of shapes. And in pictures, a lot of times people ask me, did you brush out your dreads? And I'm like, no, no, they're just not mature yet. And that's okay. I have a shit ton of hair. Pardon my language and I imagine it's just going to take it a long time to harden and um, for my dreads to mature because I just have a ton of hair and I don't want to do a bunch of maintenance on it. I don't want to crochet my hair or put wax in my hair or do anything weird like that because the fun of the journey for me is just letting my hair do its thing and um, not having to worry about it. It's just nice to have hair and not have to think about it so much. Uh, but you know, they are, it's funny because I'll have some like this one that are pretty darn hard and then there'd be like this one, which is <laughs> like hardly anything is going on with it yet. So it's really quite an interesting process. Um, and you know, this one is pretty hard. Uh, and it's interesting because like you can tell here at the end where they're when they first started they're like thick and flat and then they're more round and hard at the top so <coughs> excuse me I think um, eventually they will have a nice round shape and be you know really dense and stuff so it's exciting to think what they'll look like in a year or two, but I'm really enjoying where they are now as well. But I, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> funny shapes. Um, and then there's pieces that still just haven't really done anything at all. So um, I'll show you the back. Yeah, okay. And I don't even know how many I have. I saw somebody posting on one of the groups, one of our dreadlock groups the other day, and how many dreads do you have? And I'm tempted to count them, but it sounds like it would be a pretty tedious process because <laughs> there's a lot going on here, as you can see. It's like a jungle. Um, and I have a pretty sensitive scalp and I get um, dandruff really easy. So whenever the weather changes, I have to change how I how often I wash my hair. Um, so now, especially because I work out twice a day, um, I get sweaty, obviously. And so I rinse my hair at least once a day. And I just like really get in there and kind of scratch my scalp and get some of the flakies off and rinse, rinse, rinse. And then I'm down to washing it maybe every fourth day. Um, and when I first started them, I had to wash, like, not every day, but at least every other day and sometimes two days in a row. Otherwise, it, my scalp would itch like crazy. So it's interesting. 
how hair and scalps change over time. It seems like for my one year, I should be going and looking at the time on here. It's five minutes already. Seems like I should say more since it's a year, but you know, it's just kind of old hat now. I have dreads and I love them and um, I don't really have to do anything else. Um, so I don't know if you have questions, if you're thinking of starting your own dreads and you want, and you have hair like mine maybe, and you want to ask some questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Um, but yeah, I guess that is, that is about it. Um, I'm trying to think maybe if I have like a favorite dread. This one I spend a lot of time just squeezing because it's so hard. I like that one a lot. Um, my kids want to put beads in them and they want to help me like maybe dye them a little bit. And so I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll get around to doing that. I'm so lazy when it comes to hair that I just haven't really done anything. <laughs> but yeah, so maybe in my next video I'll have some kind of decorations going on. But there you have it one year thanks for watching thanks for taking this journey with me and um, checking in with my updates and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later bye